Am I safe here? So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Tells me I must find this antidote. So gears need to be greased. Through there to find something to grease the gears to get up there. Is that back above the cell area though? That's a tunnel, maybe these doors won't open. This way then. Fuck me. Okay, drain the Oh, I see. Drain the water. But we need something to deal with the fungi. The vessel is needed. Not too difficult then. Can I use this to fill up my lantern? Of course not. Despite the fact that I have oil. Must be a different type of oil. This way will allow me to descend back down those stairs from earlier. Ooh. What? Hmm. That lever doesn't work. Eastern Bridge. This is the control room. Which room is this one then? The cistern. Okay, let's go figure out what we need in the control room first. Which we'll probably find in the cistern. The beautiful wild orchid seemed a testament to nature's strength, being able to grow inside Brennenberg. Alas, it was Alexander's studies and care which enabled the flower to blossom. Did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. I hear a growl. Valves that are hooked up to some sort of weight. Hmm. Some pipe. I'll leave this here for the moment. Pipe piece. 
Jeez. Genius. Oh. This doesn't really matter, but I prefer to have this open rather than closed. That will have to do. It was put there for a reason. tools down here. A wooden crank. these last couple of rooms. The same sort of room as before, but an extra piece of piping. Machine, here we are. 13th of January, 1799. The work I have put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed light and crudely replaced by pressurized steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hope it will even have it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in the traveler's locket. That was not helpful. What else is in this room? Do I need to mirror the instructions of each room? I think. Let's see, let's test it. Two up in the middle, and the other two are down. Yeah, this room's quiet and the other one's loud. Not sure if that's done anything. Let's check out this final room. Sauna. <sighs> it's a fucking sauna, are you kidding me? Okay, um... So the order of the levers change the height that this is at. Oh, I see. This is on because the thing is straight down. So let's try moving all these levers in the opposite direction, and that might help. There we are. Okay. Yeah, this one's working. Okay, let's 
trying to emulate that on the other side. Machine should be functional. Daniel, to you. is that you? What are you doing? Is that Alexander? How is he talking to me? What do I do with these pipes then? I see. Did I leave any on the floor here? Nope. This one was from in there. How do I rotate things? I forgot. That works. I left one on the floor. There it is. mirror puzzle. Do exactly what's on one side on the other. Bonk. 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 Pipe's way too long. Oh, I see. I'm missing a piece. Alright, well, it should be highlighted blue, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Probably missed so many of those, I'm not getting that achievement in any way, shape, or form in this run at least. stuck on. What is that? Uh oh. <gasps> no! No, it can't be true! Oh no! What have I done? I'm stuck on a decal! No! <gasps> oh! Oh my god! What on earth? There's nothing there on this side. Oh, somehow that was scarier than those fucking monsters. Ooh, okay, let's. That's enough climbing on the wall and the piping.
that goes there definitely. And that can go either there, or there, or there. And this one can go... Oh! Oh, I see! Ah, uh, I'm dumb. I see. Um, those were the only holes on that, on this wall that were filled, because the ones that I was looking at, these two, aren't filled. The pipe ignores them. It covers them, but ignores them. Okay. Okay, we've got power restored, at least to the steam room. Let's go figure out what on earth that actually affected. The blue light blinded him as it had done inside the murky tomb in Algeria. It was just as enchanting as he tried to approach it, but the Baron's firm hand held him back. Alright, that works now. What? The bridge is stuck and we'll need to push. Ah! Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Okay, let's try that again, maybe. Nah, it wants me to use a stick of some kind. Let's go investigate the cistern. The purpose of the inner sanctum had always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield their power. However, he was still unaware of this. Mm. So that's why Alexander is in the inner sanctum. Ah. Uh, shit. Serving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking. Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. So they were able to walk through the water. Am I able to? Yes. I'm being careful for that invisible water creature from earlier. But let's stick to left to right and see where that takes us. To a bridge that's broken, doesn't work. I to chain the ceiling, okay. I don't much feel like hopping into the water. Not until I know it's safe. Well, it might be safe, it probably isn't. Tinderbox. Nothing much else. Or jokes on you, I play Minecraft. Let's go have a look over here first before we hop over to that valve. Oil! Nice, I've got a small supply of oil. Faint moment echoes through a large empty chamber. What? I can't tell whether there are other people here. Besides me, Alexander. Fuck off! <laughs> it's 
not safe. I knew it wouldn't be safer. <laughs> oh, God damn it. 7th of August, oh, God damn it. 1939. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Ooh. That just do. There are valves in the cistern to redirect water from the sewer. Alrighty then. Shit! Shit! I don't want to kill him! Oh fuck! God damn it! Blew out all of my light! God damn it. Oh, that was really dumb of me. I'm sorry. Okay, let's stop the steam at least. Okay, here we are. Is there two of them? Hopefully that saved the man. 8th August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. I have an idea. Ooh, ooh. me that's not stopping that's, that's filling that 
it's still up as well. This is a bad idea. Yeah, there's the last one. Okay. Okay, don't just climb up on there. I need to lower this somehow. I do. Where's the bridge lever? Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. creatures and not an actual person. I got the achievement pipe worker, so I'm assuming I can now leave. Ah! I'm assuming that was from the drop and not the creature. He waited for his eyes to adjust to the darkness, but no shape or contour appeared. Just 
check if we can go through this water, but I think I'll have to leave it here today. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, poison. <coughs> Shit. Thought it would be poisonous. Maybe this opens. A tad bit confused then. So we drained the water and we got steam back flowing through. Taint burst from the walls as if they had begun to bleed. He cried out in fear as the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. Alexander knew there must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the vitae. That much was certain. What push? Some of those rocks. Let's see if some of those rocks down there I can pick up. Just throw them at the bridge. Genius. The morgue. Alexander knew. I've got that one already. I had to pick up a rock from the bottom floor. Uh, this looks awful. Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? The shadow. It has. For now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. You dodged the question. Copper 
tube. Why are there so many dead people in there? Part of a surgical tool. Don't make me cut into him. Vaccine trials. The vaccine enabling my men to work in the fungi ridden sewer is a definite success. Unfortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied as the procedure proved difficult. The others will perish, and eventually I will have to create more of them to keep my experiments running. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. Is that what those corpses are? things. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony that I have to do unto him, what Agrippa did unto me. I have no idea what on earth any of that means. plague outbreak. The strange deaths among the servants and the prisoners have finally been resolved. It seems that the drain sewer, which has recently been opened up for use as a means of transport, is plagued by peculiar poisonous fungi. The victim seems to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared by this calamity. But it's clear that this cripples my progress. The prisoners will die quickly and their contaminated vitae lacks the energy I seek. I shall immediately start work on a vaccine. Right, okay. I need to pull blood out of him. Creative fucking hell. Vaccine. Sweet lord. Oh, there's two in there. Come on, there's room. Oh, fuck it, there's nothing in here but a fucking plant. Oh, God. Oh, of course there's more in here. Sound like a normal. 
normal one. Why is it creaking? It's leaving. Now, 